Okay, this is also from Reykjavik, just like the previous game. Did somebody do a thing? Thanks for the thing, Pat. Uh, this is from Reykjavik, just like the previous game against uh, Vladimir Tukmakov, the Ukrainian GM, who last 20 years has worked as a coach for a lot of the best players in the world. And this is one of my best games. I played the Feingold opening attack against the Dutch. So I invented this bishop g5, bishop f4, e4. It's not great, but I invented it. So that's that's the important thing. Now, most of you would take with the knight, and then I would checkmate you. And by most of you, like 95% of you. But Tukmakov saw through that. He took with the f pawn, knight c3, played d5, always play f3. Then I took and bishop c4. The engine likes black. It doesn't like g5. It says g5 is a mistake. Now, now that we have engines, <laughs> the best move for white is knight to d5. God damn. Jesus Christ. Knight d5 is the best move. There's a move I would never consider. Although I didn't know knight d5 was the best move until right now. I haven't looked at this game with a, with a modern engine in a long time. Anyway, I played bishop e5, knight d7, knight b5. The engine says black is plus one here. And then I played the correct move, bishop e2. <clears throat> and now he made the losing move. So the engine says he should trade queens and then play king f7, and he's plus one. But he took on e5. That's not the losing move. He's still better. Bishop check. And now he made the losing move, I think. Yes. Knight f7. He, he should play uh, bishop g6, and he's still better. After knight e7, it says I'm plus one. Uh, I played knight e2. I'm down two pawns, but his king's not looking good. Played e6. I played the correct g4. Recommended by Matt Larson way before he was born. Matt Larson's 27. This game was played 34 years ago. And still Matt Larson's like G4. Bishop H7. And now I played the only move to give White an advantage. Let's see which people in the, the you know, the internets can solve it. What's the best move for White? Also, go Tigers. Yasser was actually at this tournament, and I lost to Yasser in the Blitz tournament in Reykjavik, and Yasser won the Blitz tournament, and I came in third. Me and Yasser were like that, son. One of my Blitz games with Yasser, I was blacking an exchange Slav, and he just suffocated me. Terrible. The game I was white, I don't remember. I think it was a double Swiss. I think I played him twice. But maybe I'm misremembering that. Maybe I played him once. A couple people got it. Yeah, you don't want a castle because bishop c5 check followed by black castling. So the only way to get an advantage is rook f1. Now he played the best move, bishop g8. God damn. And I played the best move. The only move to give white an advantage. Let's see if you guys can get this one. I stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, which is what I'm doing now. We've been doing that for several months. That way we get twice as many donations, except nobody ever donates. But if they did, we'd get twice as many. Also, if we get zero donations, that's still twice as many as zero. So, Ooh, look at man with head of dog giving the most accurate answer. 
C.L. Smith, stick to poker. Terrible. Knight E, D4. The only move that gives an advantage. He played a very funny move now. That's the hint you're going to get. It's not the best move. It's not the second best move. It's the funniest move. He played the funniest move. Whatever move you suggest, his move is funnier. Oh, you are playing poker. Good. Man, King D7 might be funnier than the move he played. <laughs> so, son, you might have beaten how funny his move is with a funnier move. Yeah, he played King E7, which a lot of you got. Remember, if you ever want to study the Soviet school of chess, then that's, there you go. That's, that's the Soviet school of chess. After bishop takes f7, it says he should play a6. An interesting move. Okay, I played queen e2. Knight d6 is best. Castles is best. King d7 is best. Knight d6 is fine. Bishop takes is correct. Queen takes is good. King c8 is best. <coughs> Knight b5 is best. Rook h7 is best. Now in this position, I'm supposed to play bishop e8, a move I would never consider or understand. I played rook d3. Makes more sense to me. a6. Now it says I'm plus 4. And then rook df3, which is the point. I, I want to play rook here. Uh, King c7 is the best move. Bishop f7 is the best move. Now it says I'm plus 4.5. Although I am a pawn down. Rook c8 is the best move. Bishop e6 is fine. It says he should take it. Because I'm threatening queen here, check. And then I can take one of these guys. Or both of them. So he took, which is correct. And now it's just getting the time control. This is move 28. Yeah, I hung my g-pawn. Like in this position, when I played queen d3, I didn't see my g-pawn was attacked. I just did it so he wouldn't have a check. It doesn't matter, but it's funny that I just I just didn't see my g-pawn was attacked. That I made my king safe. And then my 40th move wrapped up the game. And he played here, defending mate. And my 40th move, getting out of time trouble, was rook, B, C, rook f8. And then I made the time control by playing rook f8. Now that's a move you want to make the time control with. And then he resigned. The best move being queen a4 check. The second best move, queen a1 check. Although I guess queen b2 is tied for second. Because queen b8 made is unstoppable. I wouldn't think of it. Unthinkable. When we analyze the game after all of this, the Russians, Soviets, and all those guys were like sit on his side and they were like, trying in the middle game to suggest better ways for me to play. And he was getting madder and madder. He was like, I need to find better ways for me to play, not for Ben. So that was funny. What's also funny is the game that I beat Hodgson earlier in Winnipeg, Manitoba, I lost to Tukmakov in that tournament. And Tukmakov won clear first. Where were the Canucks? What? Isn't that the wrong place? 